Find the derivative of this as it approaches, uh, you know, uh, the trough from the sine to the delta of the epsilon. You know, when you find the sigma of Ryan, are you writing this down? Uh, no. Did you do this in your homework last night, Ryan? Uh, no. Never ceases to amaze me. Uh, does anyone know the answer to this question? Jill, do you know? Is it 15 milliliters per second? Uh, no, Jill. Uh, go directly to remedial algebra. Do not pass go and do not collect 200. <laughs> Sarah, do you know? Yeah, is it 20 milliliters per second? Yes, it is. How did you arrive at that answer? I just took the antiderivative of the function and the sin, and I just took the delta and multiplied Very good. Very good. Very good. That's probably what we call an unfortunate combination of errors. All right, Clint, you might want to open up your book. Now, this is a relatively easy problem. Let me give you for instance. Uh, Ryan. Hmm. Um, is it the, the line of 1 over 4, x? Line? Ryan, what are you talking about? This is what we call a natural logarithm function. Uh, okay. It's basically you want to take the integral as it goes through. Uh, then you might not want to turn the page so fast you might burn the book. Uh, Mr. Hilton, are there going to be any problems like this on the AP test? Uh, you know, Ryan, funny you should mention that because your chances of passing that AP test are minimal at best. Well, how many points would there be uh, on a problem like this on the well, AP you test? Know, uh, uh, after you stop giggling, they might give you some points. All right, you're going to want to take the integral as it approaches zero through infinity of the uh, sine to the negative one of the. Right, you writing these down. You gotta pay attention. The book doesn't know it's the fourth quarter. This is definitely not a spectator sport. You know what, you guys, you know, it's, it's just like when I was football coach here at uh, Franklin High School. We'd be winning 3 nothing until the end of third quarter. And you go into that fourth quarter with that mental attitude, it's, you know, it's relatively not a problem whether you're up 30 to 0. It's, it's the whole mindset. You need to go into that fourth quarter with that tough mental attitude. You need it. You need it. The book doesn't know it's the fourth quarter. The book doesn't know it's the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, basically, it's just real simple. You know, there's your answer, right? You know what, guys? It's, uh, basically, you know, it's the end, it's the end of the, uh, chapter here. Um, we're almost done with the school year. And I need you to turn in your books. What I need is I need you to donate your used calculus books. These calculus books are put to great use. Donate these books. To the Bull High Branch. The boys take these books and they sell them. You see, they're put to great use, everybody. I need you to donate your used calculus books. Everyone have a good day.